Jim, this must have been a bit of a, a mad 48 hours for yourself, but we'll, we'll come on to that shortly. Just get your, your thoughts on the game, first of all. Um, obviously, natural disappointment. You know, I, I wish we could have done something better than we did. Um, it was so, so difficult. You know, the last, the last day and a half have been crazy. Um, and, you know, I moved that shocked all of us um, in, in timing and everything. So we were we were in scramble mode, and I know that today was a free hit anyway. And I told the players that, like, you know, I expect nothing of you today other than trying your best. I've been out there like those guys have plenty of times, and I, we've came here off the back of two years under a manager, you know, and, and tried to build things. And, and we played swing, and we know what they do. They're still they're still reminiscent of the side that they happened in the past, um, the style that they play. Um, so, you know, we knew what to expect, but everything was just condensed, short, difficult. Um, but I am proud, at least, of what the players tried to do, um, what they attempted to do over and over again. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it was a crazy start, obviously, probably, I don't know, the quickest goal ever conceded by an interim manager. It must be up there. Um, so, yeah, disappointed, disappointed with the, with the score line. Proud of the lads on, of a certain moment that they tried to do in the game, certain phases they, they tried, they tried, and we got to the last line really well. Like we got to the wide zones really well, and then just that last moment, we seemed to be offside. And they weren't, or we didn't seem to be able to find the final pass, and they did. But it's confidence as well, and you know, it's hard for me to truly know where all the players' brains are at right now because it's it's you know it's a it's a it's a strange period. It's been a strange day or so. Given sort of the, the one day that you've had to try and work with the, the players, you know, what did you sort of expect coming in today? To today, if anything, and, and did did the players kind of meet what you you wanted to see from them? They did meet what I wanted to see. Yeah, they met it in effort. They met it in trying the best. They met it in sort of. I don't want to say giving me everything because you know I'm I'm, I'm just a steward. You know, I'm just an interim manager. I, I don't know. Uh, we, we don't know what, what's going to happen or how long things will take to happen or if they'll happen, I don't know. So I was aware there was a lot of confusion and there was only a few things that I asked them for because you can't ask them for too much all at once. They've only got a day, only had Friday, Friday's training session. And we, uh, can't ask them for too much all at once, but you know the things they did try, they, they tried to commit to, we changed shape, brand new, um, which you know I thought w was better against Swindon than, than what we've been doing could, could work for us it did work at times um, it worked in getting us to the last part of the pitch I just think Swindon were then a bit more mature and a bit more patient in the last part of the pitch and that's why they then stayed in our half for a lot longer than we stayed in their half but uh, again like I said to lads you, you can't always control the scoreline in football the scoreline's like it's, it's crazy, you know, uh, one team can batter another, but a keeper can be amazing on the day. You can't always control the scoreline in football. All you can do is try and control a game as best as you can. And we were one nil down after 20 seconds. It was, it was, you know, it was a mad goal. No one tries to have a bad game. No one tries to do a bad thing on a football pitch, but sometimes it just happen, Like So no judgment on that. No problem at all. We just move on to the next one. That next one is Tuesday. You've obviously only got another one day sort of training session yeah. before then. What, yeah. what can you do in that time to try and prepare for Tuesday's uh, game? As much as we can, which is you know limited, obviously. Uh, and, and being totally honest, you know, <coughs> Monday's just a recovery day, like for the players who've been on the grass, and they've got to recover. Like it has to be a recovery day these days because all the sports scientists guys, like they know you try and train on these days, and then you get an injury within the next five days. Not my field, I don't know, but I know now that you know you don't. That won't be a training day; it'll be a recovery day. So all we can do is try and show the best part of today. Try and look at Sheffield Wednesday as best as we can. Obviously, we're going against a great club, you know, a brilliant team, a higher division. You've got a budget that you know would smash ours apart, and I'm sure they've got expectations of going far in the cup. But we just need to go there and enjoy it. Like try and get the fans a, a, a fun night, enjoy the night, do the best we can. Is it all about trying to get sort of as much confidence into the into the group now as we can and tell them to just try and enjoy the football, but also you know try and get that those confidence levels up? It to is. It is confidence is low, obviously, and it, it was hinging today. And I, I knew I knew coming into the game it could go any way, depending on how how we end up after the first half. Um, it's unfortunate that we went you, you know we went behind, but I was so so happy of how the players reacted like. We kept the ball well, moved through the pitch, got into the final third, like I say, and then going over to uh, 
going over what I've already said, but um, confidence was always going to be on a knife edge. Sometimes you get a little bit of a lift because there's a, just a, a new situation, a, a different voice all of a sudden. And I definitely seen some spirit from the lads. Like I, I was proud of them in loads of aspects. Um, but I'm aware that confidence is on a knife edge, and it's just unfortunate the game, the early part of the game went so against us. Um, and now we do our best to, to, you know, try and regain that confidence, take the pressure off the players, realise that there's still there's still almost a whole league table to go. We've got we've got a cup game Tuesday night against a team that no one expects us to to do anything against. So like, why not try and enjoy it?